Day one, day one. Day one. <laughs> First day. Time to roll. Let's get it. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day. Let's go, man. It's time to get it. Where the juice at? Welcome to the 2021 Raiders training camp special. I'm Brian Salmon, your host, along with my guy, Ooh. the DB, the 14-year <laughs> NFL veteran, E.A. Yeah. E. Eric Allen. What's happening, man? That's a great intro. Well, I'm ready to get my I'm ready to get my footwork <laughs> going. I'm ready to go right now, B. Uh, I'm ready to go to the <laughs> club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure it was hot. Ah, uh, so how about that? The Raiders are kicking off the 2021 season. Training camp is underway. Yep. First of all, this training camp is a lot different than the last three training camps that for the Raiders sure. have had. Obviously, they're in Napa. Then yep. they came here, had the restrictions. And now it's somewhat of a return to, return to normalcy. Yeah. What do you think about this training camp? Well, again, I think this training camp is for two rookie classes, basically, right? From last year and this year. A chance to get together, get some real coaching in front, especially with Gus Bradley. Gus Bradley is so emotional defensively. He's going to give it to you. He's going to talk to you, get you riled up. Uh, again, Gruden is always on. He's always on fire. He's always trying to get you lit up, you know. So, again, this is an important training camp for these young players to get in and understand what it takes to be a professional, what it takes to dominate a practice. It's just so difficult, the speed, the, the amount of volume that these young players are going to have to, you know, grasp before they start playing yeah. preseason and season. It, it's, it's a really big uh, training camp for this Raiders football team. And as a former player, your juices get going, don't they? Oh, man, I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> ready to jam a guy up here or there. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. How about this? Gerald McCoy, a, yeah. a big signing by the Raiders. Obviously, getting a veteran like that, a guy that's been to the Pro Bowl six times. Yeah. He's been in the league for a long time. Uh -huh. Been in the league for a long time. What do you think he's going to bring to this team? Obviously, John Gruden likes veterans, and yeah. he can be a big voice in that. Well, Brian, this is a throwback to the old days where the Raiders would bring in an older, established veteran to be able to help them, not just early, but later on. You know, halfway through the season, when you're kind of banged up a little bit, what it takes to get into the film room uh -huh. and the training room, get right, be a professional. He's been successful in this league. He's, again, here to provide a spark for this football team. And the once things are so important is the fact that he's going to be able to be competitive. He's going to make that room more competitive so that defensive front is able to get after the passer and makes everyone's job a lot easier, particularly the DBs. That's what I'm talking about. You want interceptions, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? I want to continue to add on to that stack even though I can't play anymore. But, but yeah, the safeties, corners, we love the defensive line being able to get after guys. You yeah. know? And that's what it's about, is raising the level of competition in that defensive line room, amongst other rooms also. No, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he's a guy that's been to Pro Bowls. He's been an all-pro defensive player for that team. He can do nothing but good things for the Silver and Black this season, right? For sure, without a doubt, without a doubt. And again, he's professional. Whenever you see him, got the big smile on his face. Uh, he's been out of the league. He's, he's been successful. So he's going to be able to look at these young players in the meeting rooms. And that's so important to have a veteran presence in the meeting room to be able to echo some of the things that Gus Bradley is talking about in the defensive line. So again, he is going to be a great addition to this defensive of line film room. That's what I'm talking about. Plus, he was iced out when he was signing this contract. Kind of icy. Kind of icy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First break. Uh, we did pretty well that segment, right? I think we're okay. That's what I'm we're talking good. about. All right. We're going to go ahead and head to a break. But when we, when we come back, we will have you talk about the positional spotlight. Ooh, them you DBs. know something about the DB. That's right. Uh, Getting after. Look at that. Good technique right there. Get the punch on. And it's all about the ball skills. Raiders Training Camp Special is brought to you by Sirius XM. Delivers 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert opinion. Allegiant, 
the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. I'm fired up about the secondary. Uh, the safety is completely unsolved. We've got some high draft choices there playing down. Uh, we got some high draft choice choices playing deep. And we have a great secondary coach in Ron Miles. So if I'm a Raider fan, I'm coming out here watching practice. I'm going to keep a close eye on this secondary. It should be a strength of ours. If it isn't, uh, we've made some real mistakes. Uh, clearly, Coach Gruden fired up about the DBs, but when is he not fired up? Yeah, he's coached a few good DBs in his lifetime. Charles Woodson, a Hall of Famer. Eric Allen, yeah, he is a very good DB in his own right. He's also our very own Yoda. Yeah, why don't you shed some light to some of us non-football players on that divisional uh, position battle? We're all fired up about this secondary right now. And John Gruden's right. We have our eyes, our spotlight, our positional spotlight on this secondary for the first time this training camp. Let's roll the tape. Number one, our DB cornerback, Trayvon Mullen. I mean, I love Trayvon Mullen. Has some great spots this year. You got a three by one, three receivers on one side, one receiver. That's Julian Edelman, one of the best route runners in the National Football League, running an over route. Now the Patriots are running this play play, there's design to run everyone off, and this ball is going to be thrown in the first half. That's supposed to be a completion, but again, great job by getting that inside leverage, squeezing, and making an outstanding play here. Look in. Great, great patience. That's what we love about Trayvon Mullen. Great patience. Making a play on the ball, that's an exciting job. Now, he's on the other side. Got the one receiver. Outside leverage. You look at that. The receiver puts his foot in the ground. He puts his foot in the ground. And the great ball skills right now. They come up with a one-arm interception. Outstanding job by DB1. We love that again. Look at the outside step. That's what you want. Cut off that uh, post route and that upfield route. Get that foot in the ground. Make the one-arm interception. Come on, Trey. Get it done every time. And here, once again, in. We see what he's looking at. The interception. Ooh, great, great ball skills. Now, Damon Arnett, number one draft choice last year. He's a, that's Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is one of the fastest guys in the league. Look at this. He has a false step and is still is able to get his hands on. Look at that great position right there. You want to get in that hip pocket and make sure this receiver doesn't have a lot of room to operate. The hand, great hand play. Coming out of college, we loved his ball skills. We loved his feel of the game, the way he's able to stay in tune, not panic. That's one of the best guys in the league. And this is another aspect of the game. We don't really talk about cornerback. But again, being able to diagnose what's going on is an extremely smart player. Now, what you want to do is read the blocking scheme, and you go attack the attacker. You're going to attack the block. Look at that. Push him back. Makes an outstanding play. When you can have that kind of run stopping on the edge, your defense is going to be a lot better. One more time. You attack the blocker throw him off and make a great play, and everyone rallies around. You love that about it. And then, once again, we're going to go to the safety. Now, I, I, I tell you guys, it's not difficult to find a safety that can just play half field. But it's very difficult to have a guy playing half field and make a play for a loss on a running play. Come on now, guys. Abram, look at that, and provides a punch. Of course you'd like to see him wrap up, but again, we'll take it. Look at that, the tracking technique, running, coming under control and making a big play. He's continued to do that in his career, and he's going to continue to do that. He's going to be in the box a little bit more this year with Gus Bradley. So here, we'll put him in the box. He's reading the offense, designs a play, sees the pulling receiver again. Three block, two blockers in front. He's going to come in, make sure he gets a big, big time play. This, I challenge you to find four or five safeties who are able to start in the middle of the football field and make a tackle for a loss. He's going to be in the box a lot this year. I love the fact that these three guys are going to even be better with the coaching going to get from Gus Bradley and, of course, Ron Miles. That's the positional wrap up for DBs for the training camp this week. My guy Yoda dropping that knowledge. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new key additions yep. this offseason. You got Carl Joseph, you got Casey, you got Trayvon. But uh, EA, you're talking to me off camera about Trayvon's one of those guys kind of standing out to you a little Man, bit. Man, I've been high on Trayvon since the beginning of the draft process. Love the fact that he can control the secondary from the top, from the back end, being that deep hole post safety, something that the Raiders need, something that the Raiders are going to utilize this year with Gus Bradley. So you love the fact that he played in the Big 12. 
well, because all yeah. they do is throw the ball anyway, right? That's all they do. So he gets a lot of experience, <laughs> a lot of pressure. And again, you had a little nugget too. You said he was covering oh, yesterday yeah. in practice. Yeah, he was doing his thing. Yeah. One of the receivers. So again, really big ups to him and the rest of the new guys coming in to the fold. Casey Hayward, also a corner who's coming up from the Chargers. Yes. Knows the system, been with Ron Miles uh, forever. And again, I think those kind of guys, again, in the locker room, in the meeting, Week 9, week 10 will show you a little bit about how to be a professional. No, you're right. Hunter Renfro does not want to see Trayvon anytime soon. <laughs> sorry Don't about that, Hunter. I'm sorry about, yeah. sorry, about, sorry, about <laughs> sorry about that player. Sorry about that player. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go to break. I'll stop talking about how Trayvon was doing this thing out there in practice. Coming up after the break, we will visit with Nate Hobbs. Nate Hobbs, spend some time with good old Nate. We'll be right back with more of the training camp special. How the organization and my teammates being here have embraced me has made it like 20 times more easier. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm in a, um, a team with a bunch of like great dudes. You know what I mean? Gr great teammates, great, great people, great leaders. And uh, I'm happy to be here. All right, welcome back. EA, BS, and Leatherwood talking yeah. highly of our Raiders squad. Right. You know, it's, it's nice to see that from a guy who came from a program like Alabama hey, to the Raiders. I'm, I'm telling you, man, Alex Leatherwood has played a lot of positions at Alabama. You know they're going to face the top uh, teams in college football, so there's a lot of tape on him. This kind of guy who can come in right away. I love his run blocking. Yeah. When you watch his, uh, uh, his highlights as far as uh, playing at Alabama, I mean, just the physical presence of him on the football field was just dominating. So again, welcome to the club, and you know he's going to continue to get better, and he has one of the best coaches in all the National Football League coaching him. So I'm really, really excited to see what this young man can do uh, coming up this season. He's not a small guy, is he? No, he's not small. Kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> kind of big. What a great last name. Yeah, he, <laughs> he definitely has a great last name. We got Leatherwood. We got Diablo on the yeah. team. I think they're trying to get... You got it in. You got it in. I, I had to get that in there. I love that name. Right. <laughs> I love that name. You know what else I love? I love, like, the little rookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the young guys that come into the, to the NFL. Um... Nate Hobbs is one whom we spent some time with. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nate Hobbs and just spend some time with good old Nate and get in his back pocket. I write down things sometimes. You know, look, uh, affirmation, scriptures, however you want. You gotta get money. Something you gotta do, facts. Got like the five rules that, that Bruce Lee said you live by, like live life to the fullest, embrace your mistakes, push yourself past comfort, believe, and simplify your mind, then you simplify your life. Football is a real violent sport, so you, you, you want to take care of the body as, as best as you can. So. Hey, <laughs> Do you, you think you could uh, beat me in a Madden game right now? I'm going to hit Wallet. He's going to be sitting there right there in that little zone because it's going to be a little open area for this cover, too. What I tell man, what I tell y'all? But I tell y'all, I know a little something. I know a little bit. Spike that mug. Spike it. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a believer in God, so I believe if God with you, can't nobody be against you. Anything on the defensive side of the ball, it's all reaction. So you got to know your alignment, assignment, you know your job so you can play fast. I like to just write things down just so I know. I got a mental reminder before I go out on the field or, or go look and look over my notes. Before I go out there, I just look over some things I felt like I could have did differently on film and try to go out there and execute it. There's way more men than people think. Like, I say football for me, it's like 70% men. If I say I want to, you know, be a reliable person, you know, the Raiders can trust, teammate, do what I want to do, and what I, what I feel like I'm capable of doing, uh, that's something I should be doing. I watch a film even on the off days. I'm about to finish my film study for the day. Um, after that, probably go downstairs, get a massage, take care of my body on my day off. And I see you later, Raider Nation. I'm, I'm ready I'm excited to see y'all at Allegiant Stadium. EA, how about the Rook on an off day doing wow. film study? Was a, was a young EA doing that in Philly? I'm telling you, man, that's very encouraging, <laughs> you know, because the film study and along with the note taking is extremely important. I mean, I could bring you a stack of notes that I used to take every training camp to try and make myself better. It's really about yourself, making sure that you are keyed in on what you need to improve in. So again, I just think that is incredible. And the video games are always a part of it. I would play like <laughs> Tecmo Bowl, though, you know, something like that. They 
don't know what buttons. Tech Mobile is, Tech man. Mobile. <laughs> two buttons, you know. But again, that's Tech encouraging Mobile. to see this young man taking notes already. Yeah. Were you in Tech Mobile? Uh... Maybe the second one. Maybe the uh, second one. Okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to break. When we come back, we're going to talk about a couple of guys that you know very, very well. Yeah. Raider Nation loves Charles Woodson, Tom Flores, oh, HOF. Wow. Let's get it. This segment of Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Sirius XM. Delivers 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert opinion. Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. Raider legends Tom Flores and Charles Woodson inducted into the National Football Hall of Fame later on this evening, EA. Mm. What can you say about Tom Flores? About uh, dang time. Coach Flores, I mean, just an amazing career for him. Player, uh, outstanding coach, led his team to a Super Bowl, gets in, first minority. Yes. Again, just a tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, just person uh, who is represents the Raiders and what it's really about. And yes. I love his his overall personality and everything about Tom. Just a yeah. great guy. Through and through, silver yeah. and black, through and through. And your rook, oh, Charles man. Woodson. I'm so happy for 2-4, man. <sighs> I just uh, just uh, coming in as a rookie, being able to be around him so athletic and physical. And I told you the story. Yeah. Years later, I saw him when he was with the other team. And he <laughs> talked to me like a lot that. about uh, you know, what it takes to be a veteran. And I was like, yeah, I remember I was trying to get you in the film room all the time. <laughs> and he understood that. So see the full circle of, of Charles being this athletic player who played with great athleticism and, you know, went into the Pro Bowl and then at the end of his career playing with so much intelligence and smarts. And again, I'm just so happy for Wood, man. Just a, just a solid guy, great individual. How about Woodson? He played all those years. He made the Pro Bowl in his final season in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, just that's an incredible span, right? You make your Pro Bowl in the first year, yes. and then you make your Pro Bowl yes. in the last year because he was just such a, a versatile player. I mean, just great, unbelievable ball skills. I mean, the ability to be able to cause fumbles, him stripping the ball, um, just so many great effort plays uh, from Wood. But at safety, I just loved him at safety because yeah. he was able to use all those instincts he'd learned, all those great ball skills, and make tremendous plays for his football team. So congratulations to Charles. He had more picks than you, is that? Well, listen, no. now, when we start talking about picks, we got to say, <sighs> at corner or safety? Now, all those picks you got at safety, Charles, when you come to me, that stuff don't count. It's all about corner, because you know it's difficult at the corner to get those picks. I, I didn't mean to get them riled up. I didn't mean to get them riled up. All right, we've got four downs to talk about. We could talk about Charles Woodson and Tom yes, Flores yes, for the could. entire show. That's a 30-minute yes. show on its own, but four downs. I'm going to give you some topics. You're going to talk about it. Ooh. How about this hey, one? Stop. The next stop right there. <laughs> Stop right there. That's the reason I wear 21. Oh, really? Good friends. Oh, he was amazing. Growing up in San Diego, I was in, in Leicester. Ooh, rest of, I mean, Leicester. Picking 13 balls off. Yeah. Outstanding. So that's always my guy. I love Lester Hayes. And again, the Raiders have so many players that are going to get into the Hall of Fame. And those two right away, I mean, just they should be in there already. I mean, Cliff yeah. Branch, number 21. Yeah, he should You be kidding there. me? Yeah, Talking about deep threat and beating people over the top. Unbelievable. And then Lester, he gets you down Ooh. like this. And, man, he put them hands on you. Him and Mike Haynes, one of oh, the yeah. great dynamic duels in all of NFL history as far as cornerbacks are concerned. Mr. Pick 6 himself. That's right. He was going back right. the other way. Yes, he was. Who's the next great Raider that will be in the Hall of Fame? I, I think it's going to be Cliff Ranch. I, I think Cliff is going to be the next guy in the Hall of Fame because his impact at that time at the receiver spot and his ability to stretch the field, which we all want right now, all these young guys yeah. – who are stretching the field, they owe homage to the great 21 Cliff Branch. All right, let's go on second down now, really quickly now. Raiders breakout player for this season, 2021. Nguakwe, ah, the pass rusher. Okay. We've been looking for a pass rusher for a couple years. Okay, He's okay. the kind of guy who can provide that great, okay. great explosion burst off the edge. You have to double team me. So Max is going to have to have a great season, but it's all going to start because Nguakwe has a great pass rushing ability. It's come natural to him. And he's also a great leader, man. Yeah, he's yeah. ready to play, ready to get it done. So Nguakwe. How long did it take you to get that name? 
Uh, about three or four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to third down, third down. It's the biggest down for a DB. Uh, biggest challenge for rookies in training camp this season? Oh, the, the speed. The speed of the game because everyone can run, the tight ends, the receivers, and then the, um, the volume of information that you have to digest before the snap of the ball. You have about 20 seconds, you know, to get the play, understand the formations, know your job. So, again, the speed of the players and then just the volume of information you need to have to be successful consistently, and that's what we have to have for this young football team. Okay. You know what? How excited are you to get into Allegiant Stadium with fans Let's go. this season? Let's go. It, it's, it's, it's time. It's time uh, to get all that, that energy uh, going around the stadium, the fans in. You know, they're going to see how great this uh, stadium has been built, all the great spots you can get in, the torch. I yeah. mean, obviously, the torch, when it's lit, I mean, you're on your chill bumps and everything. So I'm really excited to see these Raider fans, right, get an opportunity to see – what a stadium feels like when it's juice. This football team's playing well. All right, guys. All right, let's go to fourth down now. Right. What does this thing say? Uh, which Olympic sport would have the best chance <laughs> at getting a medal? For me? Yes. For me? Now, I'm not going to walk. We, ta we talked about, no, not, not running or walking. I just saw, like, rock climbing. And with these big hands, I'm, I'm climbing. <laughs> I'm getting up there. I'm getting it, I'm getting it done. You're going to get it I'm done? I'm touching it first. I'm getting the medal. I'm going to be on a podium with the gold, EA with the gold and rock climbing. Not break dancing? No, no, rock climbing. <laughs> I love that. I just grab a hold, just get up there. That's how we're that. ending the show with EA doing That's this. That's right. Rock climbing. <laughs> the gold. Your very first edition of your Raiders training camp special ah, with Eric Allen, <laughs> Brian Salmon. We appreciate you guys. We will see you for three more of these things. Well done, my man. Always, man. Ah, See you guys next week.